As a New York City licensed master plumber, I'm often asked by my clients whether or not New York City's drinking water is safe. We've all had situations where we've had severe stomach cramps and pains and many runs to the bathroom, and we can't really explain why. So we write it off to a temporary stomach virus or maybe something that we ate. But the truth is, it could be something in our drinking water causing these conditions. Common scenarios that people might think of is a sink or a bathtub filled with dirty, soapy, or contaminated water, with the spray hoses laying submerged in the water, or even a janitor filling up a mop bucket with the chemicals in there and the hose submerged in, in that bucket. Those contaminants under those general scenarios that we all know happen under certain building conditions can be siphoned into the drinking water supply. The same water that we drink, we bathe with, we shower with, and we prepare our foods and vegetables with. Now, New York City DEP does an excellent job in ensuring that the water that they deliver to our buildings is safe. What they can't control, however, is the contaminants that may be picked up once the water's inside the building, such as the scenarios that I've described. The New York State Department of Health has recognized this problem, and under Section 5 of the New York State Sanitary Code, they've taken action by requiring that all water purveyors in the state of New York, including New York City DEP, have a backflow prevention program in place. So what is a backflow preventer? Very simple. It is the device that's installed at the head of your water service, which will prevent the backflow of any water, including that that may be contaminated or poisoned, back into the public drinking water supply where it can, can potentially contaminate tens or even hundreds of thousands of people. Here we have an actual installed backflow prevention device. This one happens to be on a sprinkler uh, service, not a domestic water service, because don't forget, any building that po for any building that poses at any degree of hazard, you must protect all services, domestic and sprinkler. So what this, how this device works is pretty simple. <clears throat> there are two check valve assemblies. This is a number one check valve, this is the number two check valve. A check valve is a one-way valve. In this particular case, the water flows this way from the city water service into the system. This system not only has stagnant water in it, but it also has antifreeze chemicals in it. So we do not want though, that type of water flowing back into the city water main and poisoning people downstream and making them sick. So as the water flows through into the system, these check valves open. But a check valve is a one-way valve. That's another name for it, a one-way valve. The water can flow this way, but not backwards. So as many of us are aware right now, New York City DEP is out there in full force inspecting buildings in order to comply with the sanitary code and they're issuing these 30-day notices. These 30-day notices are going out to many, many property owners right now. And here's the trick. There's over 100,000 properties in New York City that require inspection and possible installation of backflow prevention devices. So many of my customers are receiving these 30-day these letters and saying, Bob, what do we do about this? 30 days is not a lot of time to get this, this process rolling. There are so many steps that have to be taken once uh, New York City DEP contacts you and gives you the 30-day notice. Very many steps, which is why Varsity has devised a simple, all-inclusive uh, turnkey program. So let me tell you what's involved. First thing you have to do when you get the notice is request an extension and say, look, we're on this, we're trying to comply, but we need more time. And Varsity will get you an additional 30 days. Take the pressure off. After that, a varsity uh, employee, a qualified employee, has to visit the premises and he has to survey to see how many devices you have, whether or not you need devices at all in your particular building, how many devices, what size, and how they need to be installed in order to meet the installation requirements. A proposal is then generated. Once the proposal is accepted, then our engineer is returning to the premises to do his own survey where he gathers the necessary information. He has to draw up plans, submit them to the VEP cross-connection control unit for review and approval. Once the plans are approved, then the licensed master plumber will obtain the necessary permits to install the device or devices by Department of Buildings. 
After installation, he'll get the requisite inspections, and then both the design engineer and the licensed master plumber have to return to the premises, inspect the installation to make sure that it complies with the approved design drawings, and certify a document stating so. Finally, a New York State certified backflow prevention device tester has got to test that device to ensure that it's working properly in accordance with the rules and guidelines, and that tester has got to be employed by a New York City licensed master plumber. And finally, he will then record those results on a form, and that form will be certified, and the results and all of the reports will be sent to New York City DEP and to the New York State Department of Health for their records. Then and only then will the property be deemed to be in full compliance. It is important to note that just because your building hasn't yet received the 30-day notice, that it doesn't mean that you're not going to receive one or that your building doesn't require any devices. Being proactive doesn't cost you anything. Varsity will visit your building and provide the survey for free to determine whether or not you do need devices and how many you need. DEP is on a mission to protect our public drinking water supply. Let Varsity show you how our turnkey approach can help save you time, money, and aggravation. Music